common proof of negligence in a trip and fall case is the building code itself. Oftentimes, property owners don't comply with the building code when making improvements to the property and or when the initial construction takes place. By cutting corners, they create an unsafe condition in the premises. Oftentimes, you'll see this in staircases that aren't level, they're not even, that don't have railings, that either have railings that are too low, too high, don't have proper lighting. Oftentimes, we'll see decks that don't have guardrails where children fall through them. Or we'll see cases where sidewalks are not level, where construction sites, where construction was done on sidewalks or on the premises and never secured, where gates were not put up, causing people to fall into them. Another common aspect of premises liability is domesticated animals. Oftentimes, they are a known danger. And oftentimes it's not the danger specifically to simply getting bitten by the dog. It may be that the dog is overly friendly. There is a recent case in New York where a property owner was held liable because they knew their 80 pound dog liked to jump up on people. And a person came to the house who was much smaller than the dog and the dog jumped up on the person causing them to fall over and they were significantly injured by the dog. The dog had no malintent but the fact that the dog was known to jump up on people and did and caused a serious injury to the person, the court found that the property owner, the owner of the dog, should have secured the dog prior to their guests coming over.